think you know all Windows 7 has to offer? This video will be your guide to unlocking hidden features and secret settings that will change your Windows 7 experience. Ready to transform Windows 7? Let's embark on a journey to unlock these secrets. God Mode God Mode is a centralized control panel that unlocks a vast array of administrative tools, enabling users to manage their system with ease. By activating God Mode, you gain quick access to system settings, administrative tools, and troubleshooting options, all conveniently organized into a single folder. Enabling God Mode in Windows 7 is a simple process that requires only a few steps. Here's how to do it. Create a new folder. Right-click on the desktop and point to New from the context menu, then click on Folder. Name the new folder the string of letters and numbers. Rename the folder. Right-click on the newly created folder and select Rename. You can now rename the folder to anything you like, such as God Mode or Admin Tools. Access God Mode. Double-click on the renamed folder to open it. You will now see a folder containing a vast array of administrative tools and settings. God Mode provides a centralized location for accessing a wide range of administrative tools, including those for managing user accounts, network connections, and system settings. It can be a useful tool for power users and IT professionals who need quick access to these folders. There are several other Windows class identifiers like God Mode that can be used to create shortcuts to various settings in Windows 7. I created a simple batch file that will create the shortcuts for you. Just copy it to a new folder on the desktop, then run the batch file. All the shortcuts will show up shortly after. The BitLocker shortcut is exclusive to Windows 7 Ultimate Edition. This test system is running Windows 7 Professional. Use hidden international wallpapers and themes. When you first install Windows 7, it asks you for your language, time, and currency. Based on your responses, it installs a set of wallpapers and themes. If you choose English United States for your time and currency format, for example, the available desktop backgrounds and themes will include a United States section with scenery from locations such as Maine, the Southwest, and so on. Hidden, though, are background scenery and themes from other English-speaking countries. Australia, Canada, Great Britain, and South Africa. Normally, you can't access those backgrounds or themes, but there is a simple way you can install and use them. Click on Start, and in the search box, type in c colon backslash windows backslash globalization backslash mct, and press Enter. Note, if Windows 7 is installed on a drive other than c colon, Use that drive letter instead. Windows Explorer will launch and show a list of subfolders. Each folder has wallpapers for a specific country. AU for Australia, CA for Canada, GB for Great Britain, US for United States, and ZA for South Africa. For any of the countries whose wallpapers and themes you want to use, go into its Themes folder. Double-click on the theme you see there, for example, ZA. That will install a shortcut to the themes and wallpapers in the personalization section of Control Panel. You can now use them as you would any other theme or background by right-clicking on the desktop, choosing Personalize, and choosing a background or theme. They will be listed in their own section. Get a Power Efficiency Report. If you have a laptop and want to get more battery life out of it, Windows 7 includes a hidden built-in tool that will examine your laptop's energy use and make recommendations on how to improve it. How to use it. Run a command prompt window as administrator. To do this, type CMD in the start search, and when the CMD icon appears, right-click on it and choose Run as Administrator. At the command line, type the following, power cfg, space, dash energy, space, dash output, 
followed by the folder where you would like the report to be saved. Here we have it, a power efficiency report with recommendations on how to improve battery life. Start searching the internet. The Start Menu search box is a convenient way to search through your PC, but you can also have it do double duty and perform internet searches as well. To enable this feature, in the Start Menu search box, type gpedit.msc and press Enter to run the Group Policy Editor. Go to User Configuration, Administrative Templates, Start Menu and Taskbar. Double click Add Search Internet link to Start Menu, and from the screen that appears, select Enable. Then click OK and close the Group Policy Editor. From now on, when you type a search term in the search box on the Start Menu, a Search the Internet link will appear. Click the link to launch the search in your default browser with your default search engine. Note, this feature relies on the Group Policy Editor, which isn't available in some versions of Windows 7. This will not work if you have the Home Premium, Starter, or Home Basic editions of Windows 7. Protecting Search Privacy When you search through your PC from Windows Explorer, you can see the most recent searches that have been performed. If you share a PC and don't want others to see what you've searched for, you can turn off the Recent Searches feature. In the Start Menu search box, type gpedit.msc and press Enter to launch the Group Policy Editor. Go to User Configuration, Administrative Templates, Windows Components, Windows Explorer. Double click Turn Off Display of Recent Search Entries in Windows Explorer search box and select Enabled from the screen that appears. Then click OK. The Recent Searches feature will now be turned off. When you use the Search feature in File Explorer, you will no longer see Recent Searches. Search Connectors for File Explorer File, File Explorer's embedded search tool lets you search your entire computer for files. But did you know you can expand that search out to web sources by creating search connectors? Search connectors are like a bridge between your computer and information stored elsewhere. They let you search for files, documents, and other data that aren't directly on your computer, but are instead located on websites or in remote storage spaces. How they work. Install a search connector. You can add a search connector for a specific website or service like a company's online file server or cloud storage provider. Search connector description file. This file acts like a blueprint telling your computer how to connect to that location, send search requests, and understand the results it gets back. Search directly in File Explorer. Once installed, you can search that connected location just like you would search your own hard drive right from File Explorer. I took all of the search connectors I can find and added them to a compressed file that will be available for download. There we have it, hidden features and secret settings in Windows 7.